In all my interactions with creators, one topic comes up every time they want to start fresh. What do I make videos about? And the common advice is to choose one topic that you're passionate about in one specific niche and focus on that. But most creatives I know don't want to have a singular focus. They want to explore different ideas and multiple topics. Photography, filmmaking, travel, and gear. So what if the what didn't matter? And all you need to care is how. How do you share what inspires you with the world? In a video, talking to camera, duh. In a vlog, in a documentary style where you can't see my face. Okay, sure, but let's break that down. Let's go one level deeper. I believe that we all create on a spectrum that can be described with three different styles. On one end, you have an educator, someone who wants to share what they know and help people understand. Others might seek the spotlight and feel most alive when they get to entertain, while someone else doesn't want to be the center of attention and cares most about making something. For example, you might like photography and filmmaking. So you go on an adventure and make people feel like they are there with you and give them an entertaining experience. What's up, everybody? Or you like to focus on the technical details to help people choose the right gear and teach them what matters. Let's get undone. Or all you care about is taking the photos. And the video just provides an insight into how the moments unfolded. Oh, looking good. Okay. One of the scariest thing as a photographer. Or your GXAs turn all of that up to 11 and create your own category. This is one such camera. So let's try this again. Laura Kampf is a maker like no other. She documents how to solve her own problems from storing sandpaper to renovating a house and entertains and educates along the way. So we'll try to lift up the whole thing in one piece. Sounds like a funny video. <laughs> On the other hand, Colin Furs is very much an entertainer. And as he documents his wild contraptions and tunnels, you might even learn something. I'm not sure whether it's more dangerous for the person wearing it or for the surrounding people. While Mark Rober is most interested in educating the next generation of engineers in a very entertaining way. Being an engineer is the best because you can make whatever you can dream up. And then of course you have Adam Savage, or how I like to say, the patron saint of all makers. Hey guys, Adam Savage here in my cave with an audio one day build. Who educates with his natural talent for entertainment while simply making something that he wants to exist. And there you see that entertainment is one of the categories that every online content creator has to invest some points in. Some might just lean into it harder than others. And each style caters to a different vibe. Now let's do one more category because you might want to explore a niche that you think is oversaturated. But there is one category that is oversaturated by default and still has new players breaking in all the time. Can you guess which one that is? It's cooking. Cooking videos have been around forever and they're plentiful, but regardless, there will always be a new take on it. Sorted food, for example. While they do provide some education, into the oven at 180 for 12 minutes. I mostly watch them for the chaotic entertainment factor. What are we doing? What are we making? Alex is an incredible educator who I've learned more from than just cooking. In the process of documenting his recipes, he also made me think more critically about what makes a dish work. Three key elements. The first one is meat, second one is pasta, and the third one is sauce. And Andong is a curious mind. Have you ever heard of rugula? Who keeps experiment with food while I learn about the origins of it. And then of course you have James Hoffman, who makes, educates and entertains all things coffee on a level unlike anyone else. Hi there, it's me. Now you see, none of them are just one or the other. They're all somewhere on that spectrum, right? But looking at it this way has given me a new perspective on what the focus of a channel should be and how to capture that. Personally, I've always felt most comfortable documenting something that happens from the camera and in the edit produce something that was entertaining or educational depending on the context. But as so much of what I do now happens online, 
it is much easier to talk about it than trying to capture it. So I'm still working on where I fall on this spectrum. But what about you? How do you see yourself? Where do you see your favorite creator? Let me know in the comments down below. And if this was helpful to you in any way, and you want to see more of that, I am sure you know what to do. But with that, thank you so much for watching. And it is time to create.